Wiki. Huh? Wiki? Wiki wiki? Wiki! Wiki? Now, don't worry, you're not watching me having a breakdown on your telly. Of course, many of you won't be at all worried and will know exactly what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't should certainly pay attention because this will be the thing you learn about today. And I promise you, it's worth learning about. I'm talking about probably the most revolutionary and truly original use of the internet yet. And it's all down to Wiki. And as I say that out loud, it does sound like I've lost my marbles, but I can assure you I haven't. Tonight on The Gadget Show, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the world of Wiki. What it is, where it came from, why it's got such a silly name, and how you can use it. And then I'll be testing the most famous Wiki site of all, Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia used regularly by pretty much everyone I know. So what is a Wiki? Well, it's a type of website that allows its visitors to add, remove and otherwise edit all of its content easily and quickly. In fact, much of the content on these kinds of sites was put there in the first place by the people visiting them. People like you and me and other intellectual types. It sounds very straightforward and simple, but just think about it for a moment. And the concept is extraordinary. Imagine, for example, that this library is a wiki. That would mean every single book in here had been written by people who use the library. They'd just written their book, brought it in and put it on a shelf. But it wouldn't stop there. Other library users could come in and change anything they felt needed changing in any of the books. And all the time, the wiki's volunteer librarians are going around reading all the books and making sure any changes are correct. And because we're doing all the work and providing the service for ourselves, if you know what I mean, just like a library, using a wiki is free. It's an incredible concept, a kind of ideas swap shop. You share your knowledge with a whole load of people and they in turn share their knowledge with you. And it was as an idea swap shop that the first ever wiki site was set up. It all began 11 years ago, way back in 1995, around about May the 1st to be precise. Oasis were number one with, some might say, and scarily, the director was still at school. A guy called Ward Cunningham from Oregon in the US created a website called WikiWikiWeb. It was set up as a sort of forum site for the exchange of computer programming ideas. The clever bit was the software that Cunningham created to allow others to contribute to his site. Normally, this is the language you need to write stuff on a website. It's called HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. And for most of us, it's too complex and long-winded to use. What Cunningham created was a software solution that bypassed all the complicated HTML and allowed you to just write what you wanted into a simple template. He also added some tricks to help you with linking and formatting. More importantly, it also enabled the person viewing the material to change it while keeping copies of all previous versions. The concept took off immediately. The WikiWiki Wiki web grew to over 60,000 pages in five years. To be honest, the site is hugely dull to anyone not involved in computer programming, but the idea of user-modifiable websites was widely adopted. Wikisites started popping up everywhere. And although the code has evolved from the original, the wiki name stuck for sites that allow access to their content. But where did the name come from? Well, apparently, Cunningham was going to call his new website QuickWeb, but then he remembered a bus service he'd once used in Hawaii. It was called the WikiWiki Wiki Bus Company. Wiki in Hawaiian means fast, so WikiWiki Wiki meant double fast, the perfect description for Cunningham's new ultra-quick, easy-to-use web editing system. Of course, by far the biggest wiki site in the world is Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia. Founded in 2001, it's now grown to over 3.5 million articles in 200 languages. And remember, all of these entries have been made by people like you and me. In fact, one of you lot's been in there and created an entry for the Gadget Show. It's pretty thorough. The problem is, it's now out of date. It says that we're making Series 3, when in actual fact, we're approaching the end of Series 4. 
The fact that the entry is so out of date gives me the perfect opportunity to go in and change it and show you just how easy and straightforward it is to edit an entry in Wikipedia. It really is simple. All you do is click edit and start typing. There's a few formatting rules to follow. For example, putting two equal signs at the end of a sentence creates a header, but all of these are clearly explained. Wikipedia is without doubt an amazing resource and a truly groundbreaking concept, but it relies on everyone being honest, truthful and trustworthy. And being honest, a lot of us aren't. Join me later when I look at the darker side of Wikipedia and offer some advice on how to use it sensibly. The amazing phenomenon of multiplayer online gaming, where real life fortunes can be made in virtual worlds. Oh my word! That is a monster!